And a lot of people are saying like, Augie, why did you buy John's story? Why? It was ridiculous. No, it wasn't. It was wrong. Obviously, we know that now. It was wrong. But it wasn't necessarily, and I still stand by this to this day, it was not a ridiculous story to tell. Somebody got into his account and was fucking around. Okay? This happened to me before, like, I probably more than once. My friends got onto my account. I remember I was at my friend's house and uh, Ben got onto my uh, computer, started tweeting all kinds of weird shit, you know, just to fuck around. It's just a meme. So I could totally buy John's story. I could still buy it to this day. Obviously, I can't. Because uh, he's now taking accountability. Taking accountability. Well, hold on now. Let me, before we get into John's apology, let me get into uh, the, the, the chronological order of last night. So I had a YouTuber hit me up, and I'm going to be anonymous with pretty much all these names, but I had a YouTuber hit me up. And they were like, hey, John lied. And I'm like, okay, all right, I, I hear you. Let, you know, do you know that or are you just saying that? No, 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 I know that. So then it starts spreading around. You know what happens when, you know, a, a leak is found? It's It spreads around. People, you know, other YouTubers start getting aware of this shit. So people start DMing other people. Calls are being made. People are like, you know, what's going on here? What What is this bullshit, right? Because it's not even just the lie that's the big deal. Oh, John lied about trolling some kid in Minecraft. Like, who the fuck cares? You know what I mean? It's not about the fact that he lied. Although any lie is bad and makes you suspicious from the start, it's the weight of the lie, right? Because this was a central story. Like, what was it, a week ago? Two weeks ago? This was a big-ass story that everybody was covering. People were fighting about this. People were talking about this. People, what was the narrative, chat? What was the narrative around the John Swan story? Big YouTuber dream slanders small creator. Small YouTuber just thrown under the bus by big giant dream. And again, it was an easy narrative to pick up on because what did dream do in, in, in the cheating allegations, right? He fuck, he, he poisoned the well of the speed running people, he was like, these people are just clout chasers, they're full of shit. Instead of actually respond to it, eventually he did respond to it, but it took him a minute, right? And I'm not gonna lie, Dream's initial response to the John situation, his live stream he did on John, was all over the place. It was a mess. He tried to tie Nick DiOrio into it, he was, he could not establish a proper timeline of events. He had all these screenshots that didn't make any sense, that he was just keep clicking around and shit like that. His, his live stream was a mess, it was impossible to follow. He really did not do a great job uh, shitting on John. But here's the thing about Dream's live stream, all right? Dream knew exactly what we found out last night a week ago. Dream knew that John was full of shit before he did his live stream. That's why he. That's why they got into a call. And Dream gave him the chance. He was like, look. Without saying it, without saying what I know, are you sure you don't just want to come clean right now? Like, that's the thing, right? This is not just like John was pushed once and then he came clean. You know, he titles his thing, taking accountability. This is not, you know, it's not like this is the first time he's been pressed on this issue and now he's taking accountability. No, 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 no. John's had like 50,000 opportunities to take accountability, including last year. And also 2,000, you know, 2,000 opportunities this year. Like, every step of the fucking way. Dude, when Dream went live initially, I watched his live stream with John in a call. Bo Blacks was there. I think Connor was there. I think Nick was there. I, I, I know Nick was there. Nick came in as the stream is ending, if I, if I recall correctly. And the entire time we're watching Dream's live stream... You know, John's reaction on the call, he's like, Huh? What? I can't believe he would say... You know, he's like saying all this shit, right? And I I, I remember I was getting a little bit suspicious, right? Because I'm like, you know, my reaction... If, if Dream was doing a live stream on me, and he was completely full of shit, my reaction wouldn't be, What? Huh? What? What's going on? How could you say that? No, no, my reaction would be like, Oh, what? You're full of shit. Wait, no, that's wrong. You're wrong for this, this, and this reason. Okay, but in fairness, maybe John was shell-shocked a little bit, all right? 
<laughs> maybe John just had no idea how to respond. He's complete. His like jaw was dropping, dude. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe he was speechless. All right. I remember when the when the stream finished. I I asked John because I was getting a little bit sus. Because Dream, you know, as botched of a job as his stream was, in my opinion, it's still you know there was things to question John on. All right, the DMs of the kid that we now know was there was no kid. It was just John and Cobra, but the DMs did look like John. And I remember thinking, I was like, John, so the stream's over now. I mean, what do you have to say for yourself? And he got real quiet. And he was like, um, <laughs> I I'll have to respond to this. So it's like, yeah, no shit. You will have to respond to this. Now, I didn't know the response was going to be something like, uh, I don't know. Uh, where is this? I don't know. A 40 minute audio book. A uh, autistic Twitter thread, a 12-page college research document on how I didn't troll, on how I didn't do it. Imagine your entire situation hinges on this lie that you've not only attempted to sell to Dream, that was impossible because Dream knew, but this is a lie that you sold to your friends. You sat there and you watched Optimus cover this. You watched me cover this. And, and and look, I, me and John, you know, we're not like best friends, all right? We're internet friends. But in my opinion, there's a difference between internet friends and real friends, all right? But look, all right, we're, we're friends. We're acquaintances, all right? I've known John since he had like 1K subs. I remember when John came on my show back when he had like 15 viewers, all right? We go way back, all right? Let me put it that way. Seems, you know, I would expect, not to say that, you know, John and me were great friends, but I would expect that if you knew that I was peddling bullshit because I trusted you, you would come to me and say, listen, man, I need to be perfectly honest here, all right? It didn't go this way. But no, you were too much of a fucking coward. Imagine lying about it. Like, who cares? You troll. You and Cobra got into a call and trolled Harley. You got into a call and trolled Harley. And then Dream confronts you like a year ago. He's like, what the fuck, dude? Why are you impersonating me? Like, just be honest, dude. Yeah, it's fucked around with this kid. He's annoying as shit. You know, people will always say on Twitter, this you, this you, they'll pull up some, you know, dumb shit you've done or dumb shit you've said. Why can't people just say, yeah. Yeah, that was me. Who cares? I guess when you play like the, the the social ladder game on YouTube, you know, you gotta have all these like context. You gotta have this like image of like, oh, I'm prestigious John Swan. Look at me. Look at how fancy my videos look. I guess, you know, you can't afford to be uh, honest on YouTube. I, I don't know, dude. This whole thing has got me thinking like, is there something inherently wrong with being a YouTuber? Like, do these people just have to have to lie? Is this like a requirement to be a successful YouTuber? You have to be full of shit? Like, is, is this what you just have to do? I'm starting to wonder if maybe I'm in the wrong like profession. Not, not to say that, you know, I mean, this is my job and all, but I'm starting to wonder if maybe this, maybe I, maybe I, maybe I fucked up. All right. I like streaming. I like doing YouTube. But time and time again, like, pretty much everyone I used to watch turned out to be a complete cocksucker. Plenty of my friends turn out to be complete assholes. This is just the newest case. Is there something wrong with these people? Like, when you become a YouTuber, do you have to, go, do you have to become like this? Like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? But anyway... A call was made last night. I was not in the call. But a call was made last night. John was confronted. At that point, people knew, look, just be honest, all right? Just tell the truth. We all know at this point, you're full of shit. Just come clean. You had every opportunity to come clean. And it's over the dumbest shit, too. What's the big deal? You trolled Harley? You pretended to be Dream? You act like an asshole in DMs? Who cares? Why? Why lie about that? No one cares. No one cares, dude. 
Like, people will bring up awful shit that I've said. Like, fucking, you know, awful memes that I made, awful jokes that I made, awful words that I've said. It's just like, are, is this you? Yeah, that is me. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Let me tell you guys something, all right? I can't be too... I, I There's stuff that I know that I don't know if I'm necessarily allowed to say. But I will say this, all right? Um... When John was confronted last night, uh, it was not, it was not pretty. All right. I DM John. I'm like, what the fuck? Did you lie to me? At that point, I already knew, but I, I DM'd him because I, I wanted to just see, like, just tell me something. All right. What the fuck is going on? No response. Because at that point, he knew he was fucked. There was nothing he could say. Other people confronted him last night and they were like, hey, what's going on? Just it would not budge. Would not budge. Until he had to. Like, this is the dumbest fucking hole to dig. And again, I'm not just mad because it's like, oh, John Swan fucked up. I don't care, all right? I don't... John Swan's not a personal friend of mine. What I care about is all of our reputations, all right? Snakes like this, people like this, dirty, disingenuous, uh liars like this they bring us all down imagine being a viewer of the commentary community looking at a guy like this like if i were a viewer right now i'd be like why am i watching any of these people dude like look at this guy this was who was propped up as like the intellectual of the community he's got the fancy editing he's got the music he's got the videos he he does the you know, he plays the YouTube game so well. This is our intellectual lying about trolling to a kid, letting selling all of his friends under the water. Why watch any of these people? Why watch Bo Blacks? Why watch Augie? Why watch Nick? They're probably all pieces of shit. That's what that's what I would be thinking right now if I was a viewer. All right, this hurts all of us. I don't think I'm gonna take like a, a hit like in terms of income or sub law. I don't think I'll take any of that because I didn't do anything. But I do think I am going to take a little bit of a reputation hit just by proxy of being around these people. I'm so fucking sick of this community, dude. Part of the reason why I deleted Twitter is just because these people just disgust me. Not necessarily John Swan at the time, but I had a feeling. I had a feeling. People were asking me back when the dream drama was going on, what are you going to do if John lies to you? I'm going to be really fucking mad. And I'm gonna throw him under the bus. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the truth. Well, here we are. What is it? One week, two weeks later? I can't even remember when this drama was relevant. It, two weeks? Two weeks later. Here we are. Anyway. After talking to John, I guess Nick felt comfortable enough to let Twitter know. John Swan lied about Dream, Thread. I've been shown proof tonight that has made me come to the conclusion that John Swan has been lying to me pretty flagrantly for the last few weeks. I've been sitting here for like a half an hour trying to figure out how to word this tweet correctly, but here we go. I don't want to publicly flog John for lying in an eight-page document about Minecraft sex mod drama. However, he sat idle while me and Willie and Tommy C were fighting over this stupid shit. He not only lied publicly, he lied to me, Augie, Boblax, and Tipser for what felt like weeks. I wasn't going to run to Twitter, but he told me an autistic 12-year-old hacked his Discord and sent the N-word, Let me, and he let me make an ass of myself. The morally right thing is to make people aware of this as quickly as I shared my opinions when I thought the dog ate his Discord account. Actually, I came back to Twitter. Oops. So much for that. Am I right? I wrote uh, last night. At 3 o'clock in the morning, Hi, I wasn't expecting to temporarily return to Twitter this soon, and I don't have plans to stay for long, but I have just been presented direct evidence of John Swan basically admitting to lying to us about the dream situation. There was no 12-year-old. I'm so fucking mad. A correction stream and video segment will be issued and an apology to Dream. By the way, I did G uh, DM Dream. He didn't respond, not that I expected him to, but I did DM Dream. I left Twitter mostly due to my recent incredible disgust of the commentary community. Boy, did I pick a good fucking time to leave. So after our two tweets come out, suddenly the entire community is like, what the fuck? What's going on? Are you sure about this? Obviously, 
me not that i had direct evidence of it i was just shown it the people that had the direct evidence of it they couldn't come out with it but fortunately john did all the work for us he immediately came out with a statement taking accountability and nick i see your discord dm in a second taking accountability Ooh boy we're a real youtuber now is this what it's like to climb up the social ladder was it fucking worth it? Was it worth it? Taking accountability. Well, I'm really glad you're taking accountability now. When you had every chance in the world to do so. Don't look at this apology as genuine, by the way. I'm, f I'm coming out and saying it flat out, alright? This is not a genuine apology. Maybe he's sorry he got caught. But he had every chance, privately, to come out. And correct the record. Before this even became a big deal. He had every chance. But no. I don't know what, what got on the way. His ego? I, I don't fucking know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know, dude. Like People always say, like, oh, big ego, big ego. I don't know, dude. I th sometimes I think a big ego is healthy. Sometimes I think a lot of people would benefit from having a big ego. This is just sheer stupidity. To me, at least. As a commentator, my credibility is important to me. Unfortunately, I have let you all down. There is no excuse for what I did, and I take full responsibility. Cool. I wish I could have made a video, but I'm currently traveling and not in the position to do so. By the way, from what I'm being told by friends of his, that this is true. He was not home at that time. I don't know if he was traveling or if he was just outside of the house, but he was not home. I was messing around on Discord around a year back with a friend of mine. That friend, by the way, is Lieutenant Cobra, who, by the way, reached out to me and apologized for not being honest. I had 6,000 subs, and I thought nothing of it. This somehow got back to Dream, and I didn't expect it to. I panicked. I told a lie, and I thought it would never get brought up again. I was wrong. Why would you panic at this? It's not really like Dream was like the, the, you know, the colossal giant back then that he is now. He had like a mil sub, sure, but like, he hits you up, he's like, yo, what the fuck, dog, you impersonating me? <laughs> um, uh, it was, it was the 12-year-old, it was my autistic cousin, uh, sister, uh, friend, uh, it wasn't me. Why? Who cares? Who gives a shit? Why would you freak out at that? I was wrong. Dream's Reddit post came out and I was completely in shock. Dream's Reddit post came out with 20 likes. Completely in shock. I panicked again and I made my thread. Digging myself into a deeper hole. I thought it would look really bad if people thought I was impersonating a YouTuber. Even though it was so small and inconsequential at the time, but I understand now that lying about something on as big of a scale as this is indefensible. Yeah, you think? And again, it's not even just really about the lie, although the lie itself is bad enough. You let your friends... You let your friends fight for you, really. Like, I'm not going to speak for myself, but... Look, Bo Blacks, he's a good dude. Nick, good dude. Uh, I don't. I haven't really talked to Optimus too much. Seems like a good dude. Anyone else who covered this story, they seem like good people. Why? Why would you piss away not just your 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 reputation, but why would you piss away like your friendships with these people? It just makes no sense to me. I don't understand how this is such childish bullshit. It's like, oh, I got caught. Um, let me just uh, make a uh, make up a live real quick, and then everyone starts covering it, dude. It's not even about this. Let me tell you guys something, all right? How sociopathic this guy is. While everybody was covering for his fucking lie, he was tweeting out, "Just a reminder, I'm uncancelable, mate. Good night, everyone." Just jerking off to his follower account. Look, look, oi, mate. 
I, 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 look at all these followers. Wow, dude. Really uh, felt bad about that lie you told, huh? Totally. This is why I don't buy this apology at all. This guy was fucking masturbating to his sub count. <laughs> like, I was talking with him. He was like, I've gained 5,000 subs from this without even doing anything. Dude, if I was going to tell a lie like this, I would be shitting myself behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Like, I would not be getting this ballsy after telling this much of a lie. Like, he had to have known this would come out. That's the thing about this community is that you really can't sell a lie for too long. Especially one on this big of a scale. Generally, if you lie on the internet, you can get away with it for a while, maybe, depending on the circumstances. But it will come out again, eventually. So he's sitting there selling us bullshit. He's sitting there looking at his follower account. I'm uncancelable. Look at all these followers. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this guy? This is sociopathic. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm like misusing that word or some shit, but this is crazy, dude. This is crazy. If I were sitting there selling this lie, I would shut the fuck up and I would be as quiet as possible. I would be like, just, I'm going to be as quiet as possible and hope to God I can skirt by by the skin of my balls and hopefully maybe I can just weasel my way out of this situation. No, John, on the other hand, nah, 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 dude, he loved it. I, I guess he genuinely thought he was going to get away with this. I, I, I don't know how or why he could think that, but I guess maybe he just thought like, yeah, sure, dude. This is going to work. This is going to work real well. Time after time, I messed up. I should have just said it was me all along, but I didn't. I dug myself deeper and deeper, and I got caught up with everything. I lied about a massive creator, and I'm sorry. There is no excuse. There is no need to defend me. I was brutally wrong, and I'm sorry for lying to you all. Well, no, no, no need to say that, John. I was not planning on defending you. Guys, give him the benefit of the doubt here, all right? He's going through a tough time. No. Bullshit. This affects my business. This affects my brand, dude. As gay as it is to say shit like that, it's true. Like, my reputation is hit by this. So I hope you're fucking happy, dude. I'm not going to go on some petty, like, revenge, like, I'll fucking get you one day or some shit like that. But, no, I'm being dead serious right now. I, I mean, this does affect me, uh, you know, completely. I, 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 again, like I was saying before, I don't know if it's something about being a YouTuber that just causes these people to become scumbag. I don't know what it is. It's like a sickness. I don't get it. I understand if this makes you lose respect for me. In fact, I would be shocked if it didn't. I messed up on such a large scale that I don't know if I'm capable of anyone's forgiveness, but I'll try my best to earn my respect back. I have let you down. I am ashamed and disappointed in myself, and I am sorry. I'll be taking off time for social media to process everything. I'll return at some point. Don't know when. In the meantime, stay safe and healthy. Cool. Awesome. Great. Dream. Taking his well-deserved W, by the way. It has come to my attention that John Swan has confessed to his friends about lying about me after being confronted with new evidence and has deleted his response after my stream. By the way, it's true. The Google Doc, gone. That 12-page essay that you wrote up? Hey, Turkey Tom, you in the audience right now? Hey, Tom, you know what he said? This document is going to be a lot better than Tom's. <laughs> Turkey Tom sniffed your shit out from a mile away. He did. So, 
What have you got to say about that? Turkey Tom knew that you were full of shit. I don't know, chat. Kind of interesting. I knew about this evidence about a week ago, and I offered him private for him to confess to me and apologize and delete his tweets, and I wouldn't criticize him publicly for it without telling him about the evidence. And he still denied it fully and continued to tweet lies. Why? Why would you do this? What do you have to gain? Why? Is he retarded? I like, what is what is going on here? I don't get it, dude. I just don't understand. I don't get it, man. I'm glad this has come to an end, but severely disappointed in John Swan for continuing to lie about me, despite me giving him multiple opportunities to tell the truth. I would like an apology to me and my community from John Swan, but I'll probably not get one. I'm also very disappointed in all the commentary channels that made the narrative that I slandered a small creator. I hope they'll put equal effort into making sure people know that I didn't as they did into that. Listen, all right? Dream, for all I know, might be the sketchiest dude on YouTube. All right? But this is a fair statement. This is objectively a fair statement. The reality of the situation is that there was no slander. As a matter of fact, the only person that was slandered in this situation was Dream. Isn't that fucking weird to say? Or I guess for you guys, weird to listen to? Poor Dream. Slandered. By John Swan. But it's true! John Swan led an entire community of people that weren't 14... And K-pop stands to believe that this guy was full of it. Big Bad Dream is lying about me. Help me out, mate. Help me out. He weaponized us, effectively. He weaponized Nick, Tipster, me, Optimus, Boblax, all of us. And look, I'm not a big creator, all right? <laughs> I've got 40K. But... The truth is, is that YouTubers do listen to my show. So to some extent, I have to take what I say very carefully. Because YouTubers listen to my show. If I go on my show in front of 3,000 people and say that uh, Dream slandered a poor innocent uh, creator, on the grand scheme of things, that probably has no effect to Dream whatsoever. But it doesn't hurt him. It, it does hurt his reputation in the same way that John uh, put an axe through Mon and so many others. This is an objectively fair statement by Dream to make. I sincerely hope that commentary channels that covered this uh, do correct the record. I think they will, mostly because right now it's entirely safe to have the opinion that John is a piece of shit for this. It, that's a very safe opinion to have. What if it wasn't, though? I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. People are coming out with videos correcting the record. The statement has been made. All right? So. That's it. Though I don't plan on talking about it anymore. And remember, don't attack people on my behalf. Thank you guys for the support. And Detective Dream on top. Awesome. Cool. So, that's effectively where we stand on the John Swan situation. I am utterly disgusted. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable to me. And I, um... I really don't know what to, uh... There's two sides of me to this, right? There's one side that's like, yeah... What do I have to expect? All right, YouTubers... There's something wrong with these people inherently. I, I'm almost inclined to believe that. On the other hand, though, I'd like to think that I had more, uh, you know, uh, I, you know, I thought a little bit higher this guy. Certainly, he presents himself as, you know, an authoritative figure. He's like, yeah, I'm, I, I, look, 
I uh, I do the research. I tell the truth. I make the I make the videos. I do the YouTube game very safely and very well. Well, so much for that. I don't know, man. I I mean, I'm just uh, I'm I'm I, I mean. I don't know, bro. I look. I, I mean, I'm a dirtbag, you know, streamer, dude. I don't make. I don't really even make videos. Um, and I've said plenty of just awful shit about people and uh, other YouTubers on Twitter and and on YouTube. And I and I, if I had to guess, if you know, if we're gonna poll the commentary community, most people probably, if they're aware of me, don't really like me that much. But despite all that, the people that do like me and the people that do like the other people in this community, what they like us for is our realism. So when that like image of realism is shattered because one person in the group decides to do some dumb shit like this, I take that very seriously. Um, It's not even just like, it's not even just about the lie, like the Minecraft meme. This started as Minecraft drama. But what this shows to be is a complete, just, it, it, just disgusting character. Disgusting, disgusting character. And I want nothing to do with it. Innocent until proven guilty. Is that so? That is a phrase that has lost a lot of significance as of recent. It seems people disregard it entirely in favor of passing judgment based on circumstantial evidence. But who can really blame people when the evidence is presented without proper knowledge or context? You know what? That's fair. Dream is a Minecraft YouTuber with over 18 million subscribers. He's probably one of the most influential channels right now. However, it's no secret that I'm not the biggest fan of him. Although he was one of the people that I interviewed for my Minecraft documentary, which released in December of 2019, over the past few months, I have been heavily critical of him on Twitter, criticizing him for his response to the Minecraft speedrun cheating accusations, as well as his takes on stands and stand culture. This whole drama started when I posted a video on my Twitter, splicing together clips from the official podcast and scuffed podcast. In these clips, Charlie, aka Critical, criticizes Dream for his attitude on the scuffed podcast. I don't care. And his future accusation. Get to the, get to the, get to this stuff. Along with these clips, I also promoted my friend's channel, Cordwit, who I was going to be doing a collaboration with. Someone interpreted me posting my 11k sub friend as milking the drama and promptly posted it to the r slash dream was taken to subreddit. Dream somehow found this post and decided to respond to it. I think it's worth pointing out that he responded to the post about our video coming out. I believe that he may have been trying to discredit the video before its release. That's not an accusation, just my opinion. I may very well be wrong. In this response, Dream claimed that I was bad news and describes the situation. Oh man, this hurts to <laughs> this hurts to look at. Situation that happened over a year ago. He claims that I changed my profile and name on Discord to Dreams and started DMing people pretending to be him. He also claimed that I sent people the N word as well as sexual stuff. He also alleged that I gave my main Twitter to vouch, and where I would then vouch from my main Twitter, stating that it was me. There is only one way I can interpret this, and that is the dream thought I had DM'd people from my main Twitter to vouch for the Discord messages being sent. This will be important later, so please do keep it in mind. Up until the second paragraph where he mentions that I denied it was me, all of these were statements. In fact, he doesn't mention that it is an opinion anywhere. Anyone seeing this would read everything as fact. I was sent this post by someone in my Discord server, and naturally, I was pretty shocked that an 18 million- Boy, I wonder what that person in the Discord server was thinking, or is thinking right now. 
Mm. This is really embarrassing to look at. I mean, look at how confidently he was willing to just lie about Dream. It's not even just the document. Like, look at this fucking video. How do you sit here and record shit like this? Animate the little audio waves and shit. I don't know how editing works, but I mean, he had to do something to put this together. <laughs> how do you put this together? How do you sit there and gloat about your, you know, your following count? Watch all your friends go to bat for you. How do you do any of this shit? And just not feel terrible. This is the John Swan Manifesto by Nicholas Diorio. Last night, as many of you know, I released a thread titled John Swan Lied to Dream. And many of you were rightly confused or questioning why my subsequent replies didn't contain any evidence to the claims I was making. <clears throat> I'm sure those same people were equally as confused that John came forward shortly after with a statement of his own admitting it was all true and he had been lying the entire time. I figured it would be a good time now to sort of explain what happened to everyone because those who are asking have a right to know what the fuck happened. I was approached last night at 1110 Eastern by Turkey Tom who presented me a screenshot taken from a group chat where, where an extremely credible YouTuber was talking about how John had confessed last year to trolling Harley TBS with Lieutenant Cobra, impersonating Dream Cobra and not expecting Dream to have ever known about it. When approached with this information, I began asking around who else knew, and it became pretty evident that the only reason the evidence made its way to me in the first place was because the person who made the claim didn't plan on releasing the evidence publicly, and I think they just assumed I'd release it. It's not hard to find out who the person is who I'm talking about, but... I will be referring to him as redacted moving forward as he does not personally engage in drama and I don't wish to drag him any further. Following the call with Tom, I then reached out to John Swan directly to say, you're probably fucked. I'm just giving you a fair warning. After he inquired why, I sent the following message. No, I am going to ask you one more time. Did and Cobra fuck with Harley and make up a story about a 12 year old I promise you I will not speak or show this conversation to anyone I just want to know if you're lying to me he continued to lie to me I then reached out to a few creators including redacted himself who gave me a fairly comprehensive retelling of what happened but did not give me the screenshot I needed to go public it apparently does exist and I just couldn't get it at this point, I was fairly confident, so when John called at 1.34 a.m., I began to question him. The call with John was pretty concerning. For a lot of reasons, I'm going to essentially list out here now. The call began with me flat out asking if he could have possibly done it, to which he quickly denied once again. I articulated that John would have had reason to lie to me in private about the situation, and we could have probably gotten in touch with Dream after the initial Reddit comment to make this right from the very beginning. I said it would probably be fucked up if he was lying to me. I then asked him if there was any way that him and Cobra were fucking around with Harley, and they came out with a dumb lie on the spot and john didn't expect dream to respond to this to ever come up again right there is no way that could be what happened right and john got pretty quiet he started saying i'm really trying hard here dot 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 if you know the answer you know the answer what a fucking weasley response if you know the answer you know the answer what does that mean well my if you know you know <laughs> Even when he's backed into a corner, even when he knows that everyone is onto his shit, he just can't admit it. Nick, it's much deeper and more complicated than that. Who knows? Without just admitting it initially. So, if I were to have John here in call, I would ask him, like, what does that mean? It's much deeper than that, more complicated. It sounds like politicians speak.
I started pleading with him that he had no reason to lie to me and that I already know everything. He just kept saying, if you know, then you know, and that's all I'm going to say. He implied that people may not be out to get him, but there was probably, or, but there were people who really despise him. If there were people who despise him, I wonder what they're thinking now. About 10 minutes into the call, he admitted he actually had a call with Redacted, and he said crazy things like, who's going to believe a blurry screenshot with someone saying that uh, they have another screenshot about what Tom showed me? And when I told Redacted, still had the original story, he initially said, it wasn't me who sent that and implied we wouldn't be able to prove it. Finally, I asked him if he was comfortable saying it didn't happen because Redacted isn't going to release the evidence proving it happened, and John replied, yes. After the call, I consulted with some friends on the best way to approach this, and I settled on a Twitter thread because integrity is important to me. I didn't wish to leave misleading content about Dream on my channel for people to find, and the right thing to do is to hold our friends accountable the way we would anyone else. Essentially, I had a moral obligation to make the situation right, so around an hour or so after, I released the thread. Following the thread's release, John called me. This time, he sounded completely different. The goal of this call was to 100% to get me to delete the tweet and portions of the call felt really manipulative at the time. But I'm not going to expand upon this in fear that this wasn't a victim card and, someone, and something more serious. He also apologized privately for the second call pretty shortly after. I then spoke to Dream and he told me apparently he had spoken or redacted a week ago following the stream i think and he had already known what i was telling him and just respected redacted's privacy that's what i said earlier in the stream dream new folks dream new that's why it must have been a hair pulling experience when dream was sitting there being like just fucking admit it because he couldn't say that he knew because that would fuck the third party over. But it's like, you know someone's doing something. You have them backed up against a corner. You're like, just say it. And they won't. You're like, dude, I will literally make this situation as easy and as painless as possible. Just say it. Why? He told me that when he offered John to just admit it, they can work it out and make sure everyone gets out of this okay. Dream had already known John did this as a matter of fact at the time of his DMs. This was less manipulative as we initially believed and actually a pretty charitable chance for John to have gotten himself out of this situation. That was a really cool thing of Dream to do. I apologize to Dream publicly and in the call for getting wrapped up in this story and getting it wrong. He accepted. Lastly, there are many people shouting bias or saying that John's story was obviously false in the veil of hindsight. These people are fucking stupid. The reason people believe John's story is because it was told a plaus it was uh, a totally plausible lie that made sense at the time. I, for one, made an entire 20 minute video explaining my perceived retelling that had a 90% lock ratio. Bo Blacks did a poll that was a landslide for John. It's easy to say something was clearly bullshit after it was proven uh, to be false, uh, but to act like it wasn't a viable take at the time is pretty disingenuous. You can say, well, of course your audience liked your video, dude. LOL. Go take a look at our D'Angelo Wallace ratios, LMFAO. The situation was never black and white. Dream fumbled a few talking points and gave John a lot of room to weasel, and that's what he did. Did, did John lie? Absolutely. Was John's lie massive for a stupid, petty drama? Insurmountably. Do you hate John? No. Do you think he'll ever be friends again? Why do you care? Do I think John is a bad person? Who fucking knows? You showed no proof. Four pages. How could we believe you? John is welcome to call me a liar. He won't. I wouldn't advise that either. This has been Nick. I'm not fucking proofreading this. Welcome to the come zone. Okay. Also, Cobra added me and sent me this from the fake dream account. LOL. Okay. So the fake Diorio account is, is, is still active. That's cool. Folks. That's all I really have to say in this. Water jabbers through five says any word on the lawsuit John said was coming down asking for a friend. You know what? At this point, that's a more than fair question to ask. Um, 
I I don't have a, I, I I wasn't the one who you know I wasn't the one who kept tabs on that so looking back on it though um it is funny that he was the one who was like yeah the the lawsuit and shit on Susie Liu and then that just never happened like I don't know dude it's it is it's interesting to look back on that twisted puppet through five says so are we just supposed to hate john now don't think what you want to think dude i'm not i'm not here to tell you what to think i'm here to tell you what i think this show is all about what i think y'all can think whatever the fuck you want i don't care are people gonna hate uh are people gonna get hate for still liking the dude's videos i mean you're all kids to me i don't know f f watch whatever you want to watch keep watching john i don't give a fuck the only thing I'll say is like claims like there's going to be a lawsuit on Susie Liu or, or stuff like that. I would take those claims with a grain of salt unless substantial evidence has been presented. But uh, th that's all I really want to say on this whole entire situation. I don't really. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. Like I've said my piece, you know, so. People think about John what they want to think. I I don't know. I just here to correct the record, issue my statement, my apology to Dream, and I guess going forward, if I had to say anything, it would probably be um that I'm probably going to be separating myself from the commentary community. I don't know how I'm gonna do that just yet, but the topics that I cover and the people that I interact with are probably gonna begin to drift away from commentary. Overall, just in general, I find myself like, almost bored with some of the topics. And add on to this, like just the people, I, I don't know if I want to associate with uh, people like this. I might start experimenting a little bit with the, the stuff that we cover. I'm always going to be a streamer. I'm always going to stream and have fun doing that shit. But the stuff that I cover, the situations I get involved with, and the people that I choose to associate with are probably going to uh, slowly start drifting away from this shit. Because I just find it to be more obvious by the day that this is just a cesspool that I increasingly want nothing to do with. So, that's all I'm going to say on that. Nick DiOrio, Final 20, John's just in Dream, his play button. Yeah. <laughs>